Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. We are here now with our fourth series of the day. But before we get started, today we are sponsored by Fife, Europe's largest gaming bank. Stay tuned and sign up at fiveife.io for more information. So we are back with the round of 16 here. Best of one matches. Again, this is our fourth match of the day where we have PG21 on the Legion side taking on Team Paloma here on the Hellborn side. This is a USC server, and I believe these are two South American teams. Uh, hopefully, I got that correct here. I'm once again what you got, rejoined here by the one and only Ramity. Welcome hey, back hey. for another cast. Ah, uh, definitely gonna see what the overseas bros have to offer here. <laughs> Overseas, hey, that's where I am from here, the North American. <laughs> that's your home uh, turf. <laughs> continent, <laughs> South American region uh, here for this series, though. So, get to see uh, a non-European series uh, for a change of pace here. But uh, enough of where the teams are from. Let's get into the match here. Monkey King, Sapphire, and Moira banned out by the Legion side. Magmus, Devour, and Witchlayer banned out from the Hellborn side. Okay. What do you see here? I've never seen a Witch Slayer first ban, but it is very interesting. Uh, perhaps Legion has some very skilled Witch Slayer player, and <laughs> all of the Hellborn team is Shadow Picking Thunderbringer, just yes. a fun note. And to be honest, Devourer is kind of like an annoying hero, as you mentioned in the previous series, that there are some heroes that are annoying. And Devourer is definitely one of those that just poses a threat by existing and not showing on a map. And that mm -hmm. kind of is a good uh, mind game tactic, I suppose. And Monkey King Zephyr and Moira doesn't really speak to me too much. It's the Moira that is a more standard band. The other two are perhaps player combined bands. Yeah, but... so Big Theorem is a really big Monkey King player. I know that from TM, the TMM scene. It's a hero that he's really comfortable on. And Luisius plays a lot of Sapphire. So those are targeted bands. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely getting some respect there, but the yeah, as you pointed out, the witch slayer and the devourer, <laughs> a little bit unconventional there. The Magmus is a, definitely a straightforward ban. As we see, the first pick flux from the Legion side, pretty powerful hero, non, uh, in its own right. But they do give up the Thunderbringer, who I believe is sporting the highest win rate currently in the game, at least in the public scene, with uh sixty two percent. So he got. A lot of buffs from the last patch. We saw him in another series so far today. He had a pretty good showing in his first match. We'll see how he does here. He is paired up with the Glacius, so going to give him some extra Indeed. mana pool and mana regen there. Good synergy between the Thunderbringer and the Glacius. Let's see if uh, this time Thunderbringer can outperform Znuki on the Thunderbringer, <laughs> who had about 25 kills, I believe. To almost yeah, annihilation. Close to 700 GP, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, I guess the Glacius is oh, kind of nice. Oh, that's the fish. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's, that's one to get the man excited. The Myrmidon. Oh, yeah, that's a fish that we like. Okay, so. Maybe we can get some Saba Pings in the now chat. Now I'm biased. Six minute delay. <laughs> you hear that chat? Yeah. Saba Pings in the chat. Six minute delay. We want Saba to see Ping. It. Saba Ping. Indeed. So what are they going to pair with the Myrmidon and the Flux is the um, question. I could see something. Well, I guess Magmus is banned, but something like an Electrician. Bears Ooh, nice. there's behemoth. a good one. There's the okay. Behemoth. That's a good, that's a Wombo Combo so potential. Talk about Wombo Combo flux. potential, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think Tobacco has even posted a video recently of a Flux Behe Wombo Combo match or something mm -hmm. or other. So... The potential is definitely there. And we even see the first band Tempest, so they're getting rid of the uh even the more wombo AOE combos. Synergy. Maybe <laughs> we might even see something like an engineer ban following this up. We're gonna see the Kronos get banned out from our Legion side. There's a Swift Blade ban, a couple more bands to follow, yeah. but yeah. The Flux is interesting because presence. as soon as Flux is picked up, you just kinda look at the set of heroes that just mm -hmm. come to mind when paired with Flux, right? The Tempest, the, yeah. the Engineer, even the Behemoth, and even maybe something like a Wretched Hag with the Bad Blast. So all right. of those good AoE ultimates are just great with the Flux. So 
when picked up in the first kind of uh, before the second banning phase, it always gives an opportunity for the opposing drafter to kind of get rid of some of those. But obviously, we already have Behemoth, so the Wombo combo is already set up. And the Swift Blade getting banned out by the Hellborn side, that's actually a hero that they could have looked to have picked up going up against the the combo of Flux Behemoth. With that yeah, and interestingly, kind of as an to answer to that, the mm -hmm. uh, Blue, aka Jokey Riss, Bans Predator, 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 Predator. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is also yeah. a Magic and, Kingdom hero. Yep. Definitely uh, makes more sense that they would ban out the Predator. Dampier and Pharaoh, the last two bans from each side. Anything um, sticking hmm. out to you there? Oh, okay, so they go with the clangs. All right, uh, not really from the bands. I think uh, this, when when somebody bans Swift Blade, it kind of screams to me that they want to kind of aggressive try lane because the Swift is good at getting away with that magic immune, even though he doesn't really provide a lot of presence in a try lane. Um, so technically, you could still leave it up, but I think a lot of people like to ban. Uh, magic Immune heroes when they want to go try lane aggressively. Solstice. Gonna pick up the Solstice here to follow up the clanks, but uh, yeah, they could be looking to set up a try lane as you pointed out. Maybe even a pseudo try lane there with possibly the jungler. Could also see a laning Solstice if they want to run something like an aggro clanks try lane. Um, mm -hmm. I think the goal here might be to try to guarantee Thunderbringer a one v one matchup where he can kind of excel. Um, but two more picks coming up for. The Legion side, they go with the Puppet Master here. Okay, speaking of tri -lanes, that looks like a nasty tri -lane, the Mermaid Behemoth Puppet. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to look of, out for uh, that one. A lot of damage there in crowd control with the uh, AoE stuns for both the Behemoth and the Myrmidon. Mm -hmm. One more pick to follow here as well. So we could see another support. They're going to actually oh, go with okay. another core. They're going to go with the Soul Stealer. That's going to make their lineup a, a little bit greedier. Um, but they will give them a little bit more combo potential as well with the Flux. We could just see something mm -hmm. like a Portal Key Shrunken Head on the Soul Stealer this game. Going to guarantee his Soul Burst. Uh, not going for something like the Engineer, which would I think would have been a little bit more conventional with the Flux right. setup. Less greedy but, as well. Um, they are Shadow Picking the Kraken and the Lodestone over there. Pretty good choices yeah. to kind of set up for the Solstice and the Clanks. Um, yeah. Those are mostly offlane the... options too. So yeah, I believe right. that's going to determine that Solstice is going jungle. Exactly. After. I was going to say yeah. the exact same thing if they do pick up another core hero here. Uh, I do think second support Thunderbringer is kind of off the table, although it could potentially work with uh, the Glacius mm -hmm. and the Clanks as like a potential try lane but yeah that i do think be... we will see the jungling solstice this game there's yeah, a nighthound oh. shadow pick i do think they would want something a little beefier than the night right. or the grin x to kind of uh some soak initiation some of these, perhaps, uh, spells and kind of set up for for yeah. the team yeah the the earlier options i liked a little more than the grin x and nighthound here <laughs> uh Dead okay that would that's fair i would say so they are going to go for more of a lane presence style of hero. Um, I am still not sure how we're going to see the Legion lane this. We could still see that Puppet Master try lane with something like Flux and Soul Stealer as solo laners. Mm -hmm. um, man, if we, I, I tell you, if we see a Soul Stealer versus Thunderbringer matchup in the mid lane, I would tell oh. you that you Let's are uh, giving me throwbacks to like. 2011 or something like this is not <laughs> something i've seen in like quite some time but i think there's the possibility of that they could send flux like to the bottom lane to kind of 1v1 the deadwood i think that would be a reasonable matchup mm -hmm. for him um both are but Though we could the also deadwood very well pick... see 212 set up as well i think the deadwood pick does i think you pointed it out the deadwood pick does work as a second support too not many people run it mm -hmm. but there is still a possibility of a try lane Though I think it's quite slim at this point, as people are running into the top lane. But the Clank, Deadwood, and the Glacius doesn't look too bad as a try lane, to be honest. The Glacius, Deadwood, Clanks? Yeah, that yeah. would be a pretty nasty try lane um, if Solstice was to be more of a solo laner somewhere. 
Okay, this is really interesting. Uh, Leech is not trying aggressively. They they're sending the Myrmidon bottom. Oh, did and... he spot out the glacius there? It looks like he maybe did not. I think he is behind the trees there. So that word of sight mm -hmm. actually I think was undetected. Alright. They All are right. doing a two one two setup here with Puppet Master and Myrmidon in the bot lane. Behemoth it is gonna be flux top. It is gonna be Thunderbringer versus Solstitter mid, so gets ready for some throwbacks. <laughs> I I was really not expecting the long lane behemoth flux though. That one No but <laughs> That I think that's the last thing I, could, I would call out here, yeah. I, I do think if they were to have sent Puppet Master top, this would be a little bit better. As they okay, so Myrmidon has a TP. Okay, so I think Myrmidon just wants to just show presence bottom and then just TP top and uh, lane there eventually. That's what I think he wants to do. Okay. And I definitely so... agree with he, he not needing to be here bottom lane versus that would do much. Mm -hmm. So we have the Deadwood going one versus two for now. You called out the mid lane Thunderbringer versus Soul Stealer. I think the, the edge goes to Thunderbringer here, at least in the early levels. We'll see how well Soul Stealer mm -hmm. can get his souls in the first couple of creep waves. Once he gets the demon hands, he can kind of start to retaliate with pressure. Um, but I do think this matchup is Thunderbringer favored. Definitely, even with the ranged buff as well. Yeah, he is. Oh. Um, 450 range, Soul Stealer is what? He's 500, so not too far off actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how well Solstice uh, farms. He's already not doing my jungle rotation, so. <laughs> Shaking didn't, my didn't head watch right the, now. The wig Shaking Solstice my head. Unfortunately. Right. Very Steven SMH. in the chat needs to point out that everybody needs to watch your Solstice educationals. <laughs> yep. So. Uh, we won't poke too much fun at that, but uh, oh. Glacius and Clanks 2v2 against Behemoth and Flux. Which side do you like here? Um, you know, not counting the Solstice uh, potential ganks. Um, I don't know if uh, the Flux Behemoth have any good potential until like level 3 or 4. I don't, okay. don't really see the the idea on that, but... So for, for now I'd like the Clanks better. But the clanks and the glaciers, because they can harass even more when glaciers just freezes someone and then they can both bounce them out to attacks. While... They definitely have the range advantage. Yeah. Um, but I think the burst power comes, like you said, a couple levels from the B and the flux, they have more bursting power. Clanks will definitely, once he starts getting more levels, the flag, he... oh, as I missed I... the bloodlust kill, that must have been a close one as Thunderbringer Ooh. survives on very low life. Little Steeler does go down. So I did nah. miss that one. Perhaps maybe a little overconfident by the mm -hmm. Soul Stealer, maybe a Miss Demon Hand. I don't know, but it was very close. Hopefully, our cameraman, Mr. Clanton, got that one. <laughs> I am notorious yeah. for missing kills. Somebody's got to follow and break his foot. Oh, missing the blow. So, yeah, top lane, we have Flux taking some bank pressure here. He's going to do some nice side steps. This one, I believe, will hit. And Clanks might get in range for it. One more auto attack, but he was trying to do the body box. Glacius, can she get in range for the auto attack? Oh, there is the final bang. It takes him out. As oh, bottom lane. Is forced back as well. Bottom Deadwood lane, dies. we have the Deadwood falling. Now, that one, I, I think, is understandable. The, the CCs the from the um, Puppet Master and the Myrmidon 2 versus 1 is mm -hmm. quite a lot of pressure. Some more brawling in the mid lane. Both Thunderbringer. Oh! Thunderbringer once again taking out the Soul Stealer. So two kills go in the way of Mr. Thunderbringer here. This one I think was uh, the help of the Mystic Illusion room giving him that cooldown reduction. Yes, definitely. You got to hit that uh, Blessed so, uh, Lightning twice. Pretty pretty powerful route out of Thunderbringer early game, actually. Yeah, reducing the mana cost as well as the cooldown. 0.7 second cooldown on the. Uh, Chain lightning. That's crazy. Good thing Soul Stealer has picked up a mana battery as he's shooting against the Thunderbringer. He smoked up in the mid lane, I'm not sure for what reason, but... I think his TP is on cooldown and he maybe wanted to get back here a little faster. Ah, uh, yeah, perhaps. But it's level 5 against level 3. This is going to be a, a tough task. It's nice uh, to yeah. go up against the level 3 blast of lightning. That's going to be a tall order for him to handle. He will... Definitely There's a wheat field bottom lane following up the puppet show. There is still a magic carp that's going to stun up with the string. And I think Deadwood is going to fall here. Yeah, just too much damage from the Myrmidon. As we have Behemoth taking an ice imprisonment top lane with the creep wave, but Clink's not in the area. It's already five kills so far this game. Mm -hmm. Puppet is doing very well in the bottom lane, but 
that is pretty much the only lane the Legion is proud of. And I think when you're facing a jungle lineup, you kind of would like to win two out of three lanes, ideally. So still with the double damage, he's going to land the first damn in hand. There's Ooh. the second one, but he needed one more auto attack. Beast. And Thunderbringer with the boots. Thunderbringer with the boots just going to get himself out of range there. So. Mm hmm. Yeah, as I mentioned, they, they would like to win two out of three lanes on Legion, but unfortunately it looks like they're only really winning one lane right now, as mm -hmm. Flanks is doing better by a little uh, than Flux in the top lane, so definitely not decisively winning this lane on the Legion. Right, only 260 JPM on the Flux compared to the 370 of Flanks. Meanwhile, they have the Solstice farming away in the jungle. Not really liking his item build so far, but he is farming very well, 360 gold per minute. Oh my, He's got yeah. one more minute here before nighttime hits, so we'll probably see a transition, as we typically see with Solstices uh, from day to nighttime. Yeah, he hit the level 7, which is not the optimal. I think he's not going to be level 8 by nighttime, but that would be the optimal rotation, I think. But level 7 is like kind of standard, I think. <gasps> to hit the by six minutes on the solstice. Yep. <clears throat> and now we see in top lane that they have got the levels on Behe and Flux, so now we're supposed to see the, the kill potential come into play, but under to that, the Hellborn is the one going aggressive here. In the middle lane, Thunderbringer's maybe going for a kill here. He's got the Lightning Storm ready soon. Meanwhile, Flux in the top lane. He will go down to the final auto attack from the Clanks. As Behemoth eats an Ice Imprisonment, there's a double tap coming out for Clanks. Meanwhile, the Taunt's coming out from Thunderbringer. Here's the Chalice into the Blast of Lightning. Or no, that was the uh, the Lightning Storm, actually. <laughs> Setting up the Serial Killer Streak there. So three kills. Oh, and Soulstealer's also Behemoth dying to the Solstice now. Soulstealer got it. Find himself a blight or shadow dash from the solstice there. Not even needing the marchers as uh, goes for the chalice there as well. None of them have the any eight. marchers. <laughs> that was a little greedy by Solstice going for the top rune without any vision, without boosts. Well. Looks to light up a slow. There's the fissure on top. Lace is still slowed up. There's the golden apple being used though. Four charges on the power supply. Clanks in the front lines, leading the way. He is getting turned on by the behemoth, but he will hold this ground. He will get the one kill. There's the golden apple. Do they have the damage to bring down the flux? The auto attacks from the lackey. And Delacious picks up the double tap. They're both getting very low, but the consumables coming into play there as uh, Polo Team Paloma does a nice job. They're picking up the double tap. Oh, here comes Team the gang of bottom, bottom lane. lane. We have Solstice using the Shadow Dash. He does not have his. Lunar Judgment skill, a little surprised oh, by that, wow. but You're he right. is going to set up the kill with the help of Deadwood uh, lining up the Rotten Grasp there. Definitely an unconventional Solstice uh, playstyle, I would say, even as he's doing everything differently than what you usually do in your guide. <laughs> well, he did go for Ghost Marchers, so that, yes. one is, uh, that one's okay. But... Laning phase, I would say, is, is almost over. Now. Here comes the Lunar Chargement being channeled as Puppmaster points into the bottom lane, into the Rotten Grass. Here comes the damage as the Shadow Dash will take him out. Myrmidon now will get Willowmaker, and it's two kills going the, the way fish. of Team Paloma. 12 to 2 hero kill lead now as they jump out to mm. a 7,000 gold and 7,200 experience lead. That's really smart by Hellborn. Recognizing the only lane Legion is winning is bottom, so. That's where the solstice immediately rotates after hitting level, uh, after hitting the six minute mark, getting the night time, and get two kills on the puppet quickly. So his start is now not as good as it was. Mm -hmm. Falling to 308 gold per minute uh, with the two back to back death. Very unfortunate for him. The solstice is currently in the middle of the Legion jungle. Probably looking to set up either a kill in the mid or the bottom lane as he gets a word of sight down here in the middle of the jungle. He's going to run into Myrmidon. Here comes the Shadow Dash coming in as we have Deadwood coming over from the side here. There's a way for him to safety as Puppet Master does use the strings here. Here comes the Puppet Show as well. Rotten Grass will be avoided. There's the Lightning Rod coming in from the Thunderbringer as here comes a Puppet. Voodoo Puppet Ultimate. Soul Steel, they're gonna get turned on though. Here comes the damage of Soul Steel. There's the crit as he will get taken out and Deadwood will use the Golden Apple on the run. Meanwhile, in the top lane, the uh, Behemoth does go down. 
as it's well. It's almost a genocide, side, and it's going yeah. bottom lane again, and now it's a genocide. Yeah, going to fall. There's the charge coming in from Solstice takes him out. Remember not porting back in, he wants a kill, but I don't think he's going to get one. They are just a little bit too healthy here. Deadly. Line up the weed field. As much as I Solstice. love fish, I don't think he can kill the Solstice from that HP on level 4. <laughs> I, uh, I agree with you there. Uh, yeah, so all of Legion team died in two different fights. Technically a genocide, but the Myrmidon respawned before all of them would be dead. So I would say this uh, rotate game kind of uh, really favors Halber right now, and I am not sure what Legion needs to do to kind of come back to this. Well, they have the Discharge, possibly get the level 6 on the Behemoth and maybe try to light up a team fight. But Soul Stealer not really progressing in terms of items. Middle lane's got a huge fight. Marks. Here comes a pull from the Flux. There's the Willow Maker though, they turn it around. Edward will sacrifice himself as Solstice. He's gonna make a, try to make a juke here, but there's the Demon Hand. It's a double tap for the Soul Stealer as he will be sitting on 1300 gold. But here comes Thunderbringer. He has a Blast of Lightning coming up in two seconds. There's the Lightning Storm. There's the Blast of Lightning. And he's going for more with the Haste Rune. The Chain Lightnings are coming out. The final auto attack will take him down. It's a double tap on Slash Streak. Maybe make it a hat trick as there is the next Blast of Lightning. Puppet Master will take out the Glacius though. But I could definitely see Thunderbringer may be pursuing for this kill. He has the Haste Rune still activated. Oh my he's god. Got Another blast of lightning in four more seconds, but it looks like Puppet will get the safety distance. And it will end with a hat trick. Four, four, two, I believe, or three. Uh, Tower top dying. lane. Planks wants this one. Flux. He's getting poked here. There's the TP, and he will go for the tower. The slow comes in from the Flux. The Flux will turn it around. There's the Demon Hand. The final uh, Demon Hand will take out the Planks, but he does get the tower and a kill before sacrificing himself there, so he falls. For the first time, but still at the top here with 530 gold per minute. Yeah, we're gonna miss the grasp, unfortunately. No Willowmaker though, so. If they recognize he's alone, they can try to go for a kill here. Because Deadwood, I don't believe he has uh, the Willowmaker yet. Yeah, he doesn't. No uh, no Soul Burst just yet on the Soul Stealer. He's still only level 8. Hasn't oh, yeah. yet. Well, I will say he got some necessary recovery, getting three kills in quick succession here in the last one minute, uh, jumping his Soul Stealer, that is, jumping his GPM up to 300 from what it was about mm -hmm. 200 before. <clears throat> Lightbrand picked up on the Thunderbringer, so he's followed up the Sorcerer Boots and probably looking for that Grimoire power. Top rune, we have a fight going on. There's the Glacial Downpour being channeled. Can Soul Stealer get the return kill? There's the Lightning Storm coming in, and Glacius baits it all along, dealing huge damage. Thunderbringer sitting on 25% hero damage. Meanwhile, Flux goes down. Mermanon will use the waveform, and he will go for the TP. He will be successful. The Flux did fall down there to the uh, the Solstice, as he is now looking to steal some of the Legion's tags. Once uh, now it is daytime. Looks like he's going for the Thunderclaw here with the Alacrity Band and Gloves of the Swift picked up. And, Middle uh, Tower falls to the team here, Slenderbringer and Glacius were in the area. And meanwhile Clanks is not short of stacks himself, so he's gonna take out some himself in their own jungle. And that was going for the Behemoth here, but I don't know if he can close the distance here. No, he's not gonna turn back. Bottom lane, Bottom Solstice lane, is manning up against dude. Solstice gets booted puppeted. Puppet Master will fall. And they do exchange lives, Flux survives. Almost a double tap for the Solstice 1v2. That was actually really close, yeah. If Thunderbringer uh, had helped, if he had Lightning Storm of cooldown, then I think Solstice <laughs> would have killed them both. Deadwood wants oh. this kill. Oh, there's a yeah. slow coming in from the Flux. The tower doing a lot of damage here, but here's Glacius. Oh, nice counter kill by Flux. Deadwood will hey, princess, fall first the as Flux does go down to the Glacius. Mid lane, they're going on a Thunderbringer, but uh, unfortunately, the Fisher is gonna miss. Thunderbringer's got a Lightning Storm in 14 seconds, and it is a level 2 Lightning Storm. Uh, that's gonna hurt a lot of players. <laughs> <laughs> Clanks, by the way, with a Searing Light, going for the Dawnbringer. He's got another 1000 gold saved up. Could mm -hmm. very well finish the full Dawnbringer here in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, so Halborn has. Three very farmed heroes. Go for this kill, actually. Oh. I think he's thinking about it. 
Not a lot of Soul Stealer can do besides man up. And I think Blast of Lightning is also... ATK drones, here comes the Soul Burst coming in, but not a lot of damage. It is only level 1. And Clanks! Oh. oh, they are going to actually trade lives. There's the Demon Hand and the final auto attack takes about simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I think that's in favor of Soulstealer, obviously, because of the yeah. the gold trade and the level. But Thunderbreaker did have his Lightning Storm up, so could have saved know. the uh, clanks there. Yeah, I could have probably saved the clanks. Perhaps didn't want to steal the kill. Maybe clanks was like, I got this bro, but then quickly realized how much damage Soul Soulstealer oh did. Thunderbreaker is gonna find oh. the TPing Puppet Master. Cancels the TP. There's the Lightning Storm. One more auto attack, and it's gonna take him out. The Dot damage from the light brand dealing the killing blow as that was non lethal damage. Remedon, see you later. As here comes another blast of light. Bloodbath continuing here. Or, well, that was the start of the bloodbath for Thunderbreaker. Roundgrass lands on the Flux. They are going for a dive here. The Behemoth is going to get sunned up by the Solstice as well as the Ice Imprisonment and Flux. He is all by himself. No TP available. Here comes the fight from the Solstice. There's a defensive push, but that is not going to save him. It's a quad kill coming in for Thunderbreaker. 12 and 0. Four. Okay. Well, looking to challenge Nuki's kill count, I see. Going 12 and 0 here. 75 gold per minute. He is out farming the clank there with the kill streak. Picking up a portal <laughs> key actually, so not going for the Grimoire just yet. He's I'll going play. for the kill here on the Soul Stealer. Soul Stealer trying to man up, but I don't think this is going to work out for him. Thunderbringer will take him out. Doesn't seem like uh, no soul burst available it. for the soul stealer. Mm -hmm. To be fair, no lightning storm for the thunderbringer either. <clears throat> Bottom we lane, grass landing here on up. the Myrmidon. There's the banks coming in. Weedfield lines up onto two. It was a good Weedfield, but Behemoth here with the fissure down. He is going to be in retreat mode. Here comes a puppet show, but not going to tie him down. As Willowmaker comes out on Flux in the base. Puppet Master getting dove here by the Clanks as he's flying around. Not going to go <laughs> for the kill, though. Uh, yeah, the flanks, just that clip walking and everything it's just makes it hard to hit. Oh, oh, oh there's uh, the Thunderbringer. Uh, Lightning Storm comes off. Blue <laughs> Snipes out Puppet Master in the base. They take out the tier 2 tower, and Blanks will finish his Dawnbringer. Yeah. Well, I think what Legion needs to do is hit the Wombo combo now. <laughs> they need to hit the Wombo combo to come they back to this a game. a portal key on the Soul Stealer, a portal key on the Behemoth, and maybe they can make yeah. the dream happen. Unfortunately, 125 gold per minute on the Behemoth, that portal key is not looking anywhere close right now. So they have to make the dream happen with some uh, walking, I guess. <laughs> Maybe some build. Well, here comes a, a breath of soul there from the Solstice. He's gonna do some decent damage. Here comes the pull from the Flux. They do pull the Glacius into the tower. They're looking to turn it on. The Solstice is holding his ground though with the Elder Parasite. The tower is doing chunks of damage to him. He will fall, but he will get the Puppet Master kill first. Thunderbringer gets his Immortal as he picks up the double tap there. Finishing off the Myrmidon, making it a genocide of 5 for 2 trade here. Going the way of Team Paloma. Mm. 23,000 gold and 26,000 experience lead. We now have 630 gold per minute on the Thunderbringer. And the Lynx are right behind him with 500. Oh, GGs are being GGs called. GGs are called here at the almost 18 minute mark. And that will do it, it looks like. Uh, for will it? Best of one. Fake well, GGs? I didn't go through just yet. But question mark? Fake GGs question Is this question mind games? Valve, please nerf Valve. TV. I don't think Valve is in charge of this game, but... I wish Valve would nerf TB, but right now, all we can say is that Legion is kind of hesitant about conceding here. Uh, Root will miss here on the Flux, he's gonna go down to the Willowmaker, Behemoth goes down to the Freeze, okay. and the Concede vote does go through There here. we go. So, Team Paloma will take this best of one match they will move on to the next round any final thoughts here I heard Thunderbringer is good ban and I good. think you heard correct <laughs> and I guess rest in peace Mr. Fish from Legion side you valiant effort but... yeah Legion team unfortunately didn't do you justice there with the Myrmidon pick <laughs> credits to them for picking it but I, no I... success here for 
for the mermy. Yeah, stay tuned, That'll guys. Do it. For... That'll do it. We'll go on a short break and we'll be back in a little while with our fifth match of the day. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen.